Hi there, I'm Gio Cagatori, Director of Hardware Engineering here at Facebook, and I'm part of a Tiger team who developed our next creation here, a rack level optical storage solution, and I'd like to show you a bit of uh, what we've created. So we'll walk around the back and we'll show you the internal mechanism and how this all uh, comes together. Come with me. So some of the key characteristics of this design, first and foremost, the, the rack was built to OCP uh, standards. It has OCP um, dimensions and power uh, configuration. Uh, so you'll be able to wheel this into any OCP compliant data center and bolt it right up. Uh, the, the rack consists of 24 magazines. Each magazine holds 36 cartridges. Each cartridge contains 12 Blu-ray discs. Each cartridge is locked and we have a robotic picker that will go to a specified uh, magazine and then locate a cartridge. It will unlock that cartridge, removing the drawer, and a picker will go down and uh, is able to select a specified disc in that 12 disc arrangement. When it's time to remove the magazines, if we want to put them into um, even colder archival state, let me walk to the front and show you how that operation takes place. So we've now told the rack to locate a specific magazine. There are actuators on these drawers that will then engage that magazine. The robot then will remove the magazine um, from the rack. And once the magazine is removed from the rack, I now have access to either the cartridge, if I want to remove a specific cartridge, or I can actually remove a complete magazine and take that magazine, which is FRID, to a uh, colder uh, facility. Once I'm done with my operation, the magazine goes back in, and the robot is back in operational state. One of the key elements about the robot is that it consumes a fraction of the power that a normal magnetic spindle solution would. Once in cold state, it's a virtual zero in power consumption, waiting for an operation to occur and once we're retrieving data, we're sub 1,000 watts. So you can see it's a fraction of what you typically would spend in energy in a data center. And the reliability is really in the disaggregated nature of the design. So each one of these disks is actually certified for 50 years of operation. You can actually get some disks that are certified up to 1,000 years of reliability. And because the media is separate from the drives, if you ever have a drive issue, you simply replace the drive and you won't have to replace the data within the disk. So from a reliability and operational standpoint, it's uh, quite elegant and efficient.